What's up, folks? Uh, my name is Egg64. Um, I don't do a whole lot in terms of Street Fighter. I haven't done much of anything, to be honest. Uh, but this is still um, in regards to La Swagger's vid talking about the YouTube Street Fighter 4 community and uh, how it may be dying or, you know, how it might, might be dead. Um, just a little insight about me. I've been playing Street Fighter for roughly 18 years. Uh, since the days of Street Fighter 2. That makes me, I'm about 30. Yeah, I am 30. What am I fucking talking about? I'm 30. Uh, but, yeah, I've been in it for a while. I've never played in any tournaments. I won't, I won't fucking lie about that. Um, I just went to wherever there was a Street Fighter machine and I played. You know, maybe I got better, maybe I didn't. Over the years, I definitely kind of, you know, lost that you know, that burn to want to play Street Fighter or to just kind of want to play a whole lot of fighting games in general. But I'm getting back into the swing of things, probably thanks to what I've seen in terms of, you know, the YouTube community. Now, that's not to say that it's all good, because there's definitely some bad. You know, there's a lot of, there, there's, there's a lot of bad into it. It's, you know, in back in my day, it's like, if you wanted to, you want to play against somebody you know, you would just kind of hope that you got the guy's number or somebody else and you had to hope that the fucking game worked right. You had to, work, you had to hope that the buttons were cool. Uh, you had to hope that the arcade was open. You know what I mean? Uh, that's kind of how I was playing video games in the hood. Uh, I would die to have a community. I, I would die to have a community like this, like back in the day when I was playing Street Fighter a whole lot. You know, and that's not to say that the community is all good. You know, you got your bad, you got your this, you got your that. Um, but in in lieu of all that, maybe maybe the Street Fighter community has died down a bit. You know, maybe there are more people just talking shit than people actually playing. I mean, I understand that, but and and that's sadly that's kind of the nature of YouTube, man. You know, people are gonna say what they're gonna say because they're behind the like they're behind the anonymity of a fucking keyboard, of a fucking webcam. You know, trust me, trust and believe. You know, the Ethernet line itself just gives people a whole lot of fucking courage to just come and say whatever the hell they want to say and do whatever the hell they want to do, knowing full well that if you were in person, they wouldn't do any crap like that. That's got to be one thing. That I say I hate. It. I mean that I kind of miss about the arcades. You know, none of the two face shit. So, I mean, I can understand your frustration, but you got to understand something, dude. That's kind of the nature of YouTube. You know, I wouldn't go as far as to uh, what TKK said. Like, kind of like put up or shut up, because life's not that black and white. You know, there's 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 some things that folks just don't want to deal with if that was the case then pro players you know people like you know justin wong and uh you know marn and you know santhrax and other folks you know if that was the case then they'd be playing online more than anybody they'd be on they'd be on you know they'd be on youtube uploading their shit they'd be on they'd have like battle points up the ass but for one thing they got they got kind of got better things to do they're fighting in tournaments they they hop in they're jumping down in the lab. They're trying to see what does what and what doesn't to, to whatever character. They're analyzing fight styles. They don't have time for it, luckily, which means they don't have to deal with some of the bullshit that we got to deal with. But, I mean, even with that in mind, it's like maybe they, they do know that that's the shit that they have to deal with. So they just stay up off of it. You know what I mean? You know, you already know, like, just in terms of Street Fighter 4, battle points mean shit. You know, you can really, you can get really thrown for a loop for that. So in terms of the community, maybe, yeah, maybe it does need an upstart. You know what I mean? Maybe it needs, maybe it needs some, some, some new blood, somebody to come in and, you know, post some more vids, post some more strategies, put some more, um, put some more stuff out there and get bigger and get better and whatever. I do realize that you may be a little disheartened right now, uh, Swagger, about, you know, the, you know, the skill or lack thereof or lack of maturity where people would just come in and just say whatever the fuck they want to say. But it's up, it's up to us. It's up to folks like you and other people that, you know what I mean, have a brain. 
you know, to have a mind to know that, you know, to have a mind to just kind of see what's right and what's wrong and to not kind of give in to the bullshit and don't fall, but, you know, and don't kind of fall prey to the trolls. You know, you can't, you can't, you got, you can't really let that stop you. You know, I know you haven't posted a lot of vids. Do it. Flood, flood, flood the shit with vids. You know what I mean? But just kind of, you got to kind of be that balance to some, to some extent. You know what I mean? Um, another thing I want to talk about was like the egos that I know YouTube can garner, you know, the elitist people who've been there, done that and feel that that they've been there and done that. They can say whatever the fuck they want to say to whoever, you know, it's again, you know, with that fucking ethernet courage, you know what I mean? You, you can't, you can't buy into that. You, you really, you got to overcome that, man. Uh, we all do. Like, I can tell you about a guy that I was on his channel and he was doing some emulation and shit. You know, he was putting out, you know, what, what this emulator can do, what that emulator can do. Because I like emulators. I even got a few on my page, you know, just showing the capabilities. Mind you, one of his videos was one year long. I mean, like a year old. And I forget what game it was, but it was just like, oh, man, he got this shit up here. And I looked at it. And it's like, man, what memories, you know what I mean? So I typed a comment to him, you know, on, on the video, like, man, you know, I used to play this game a long time ago. It's, it was the shit, Dan. It, it's still the shit, man. Thanks for putting this video up. You know what he replied with? Nobody cares. And it was just like, you son of a bitch. You know, man, you ungrateful fucking, you know, bastard. Mind you, the guy had about 1,500 videos so he felt like because he put on he put in that much work, he can say whatever the fuck he wanted to say to whoever. That's kind of how you rub people the wrong way. And at the same time, a lot of people think that the, oh that that's the surefire way to you know get video you know to get to get viewers to get people who want to sub to you because you create controversy. It's it's empty and it's it's temporary because you know that that makes you into somebody you're not. And may and maybe it's making and maybe it makes somebody. I mean, maybe it makes one into a uh, person that they want to be. But either way, it's still fucking fake. You know, you can't let this fuck. You you can't let the internet get to you. You know what I mean? And in terms of like elitists, you know, people who feel like they know the game up and down. You know, uh, go on SRK. You'll see a lot of that. You know, people who honestly ask questions about wanting to get better about the game. You know. When somebody's asking about what may be some viable option selects for you know for a fighter, and they t and they fucking badger the guy as if he was talking about, can you tell me where to find a flow chart to this person and that person? People actually want to get good. It's those people that have some knowledge or that may have that top spot that's just not trying to relinquish that type of information to them. They want to hold on to it. They want to stay up top. They want to keep the smaller person down. And next thing you know, you know I mean, next thing you know, that same person that asked you your question and you didn't give it to them ends up scraping your ass at the next tournament or online or somewhere else. It's it's crazy. It's it's stupid. I mean, it's crazy. It's stupid. It's just borderline ludicrous. And it doesn't. You know, I mean, it, it just makes no difference. I mean, it, it makes none. No sense at all. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. I do like keep shout outs to people and I'm sub to like a bunch of people who are honestly who honestly want to see you get better at the game. So you can pose a bit of a threat to them. So whenever you fight them, they'll give you a good match and tell you good game and actually mean it. You know what I mean? It's but it, it, yeah, I know it's a lot of folks out here to put up videos and just put comments out there just for the hell. I mean, just to say you a scrub and I'm not you we can't you can't grab buy into that and to some other folks I mean and to, and to some people who may be not who may not only be just, I mean who just maybe maybe thinking about Street Fighter and in, in lieu of just like the Street Fighter community I'm kinda thinking a bit more diverse than that you know everybody wanted to say that 2008 and 2009 were like the years of the fighter no fuck that 2011 is going to be the year of the fighter. You know, you got so many just kind of high class and tried and true fighting games coming out. You got Tekken Tag 2. Of course, you got Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 
You got Anniversary Edition of Super Street Fighter 4. You got Mortal Kombat, um, King of Fighters 13, and Lord forbid, you know, and God willing, uh, Virtual Fighter 5 uh, Final Showdown. I'm really looking forward to that. May happen, may not. But with all the Street Fight, I mean, with all the fighting games that I've named, Street Fighter is the catalyst of all of them. You can't talk about a fighting game these days without talking about Street Fighter. And I think just what the community, even though the YouTube community is just a small part of the entire community in general in terms of fighting games, it still holds a lot of bearing in terms of who you want to fight, who you may want to learn from, what you can learn from who, who you can set up matches with, you know, and have a set in a first, first to five or first to ten. It still sets the tone. To me, to me YouTube is... YouTube is better than getting on Xbox Live and PlayStation and uh and PlayStation Network in terms of finding matches with people that you may want to play with. You'll fucking find a match with somebody who just commented on something you just commented on, like in terms of a fighting game. So I'm just not really thinking about just Street Fighter. I'm thinking about just the fighting game community as a whole. It's you know, it's it's a lot of fighting to be had out here. It's a lot more diverse than what it was when I was just like kind of hot on fighting games back back in the stone age to some of you folks <laughs> but but yet and still you know it, I, I don't I think I don't think it's a better time than now to be a fighting game enthusiast you know a fighting game lover and a fighting game you know somebody who just wants to be into that genre all together and you just got to keep doing you man you you can't let people you can't let the trolls do what they do you know what I mean you can't let the elitists tell you that you just this and you you ain't gonna be that you can't let your you can't let the egos you know kind of deflate you out of trying to get your game better and I mean I mean that for everybody I don't mean that for just Street Fighter I mean that for all fighting games and real talk I mean it's just like everybody wants to be the best I'm not gonna lie I ain't played I ain't played a fighting game and I don't know how long. I would like to be good at it. You know what I mean? And, hey, you know what I mean? You got to keep doing you, dude. Uh, try to keep the faith on that, man. Don't give up on the community just yet. Don't let the trolls, you know, shit on your lawn. You know what I mean? You got to keep doing you, man. So, that's me. That That's about it. Um, I'm X64 and I'm out. And, uh, peace. Happy holidays.